day up YouTubers, how are we? Hope we're all keeping safe out there. Well, today I'm out on my new motorcycle. Can you guess what it is yet? Well, it's a CCM Mark 1 Spitfire. And this is the first video on it if you'd like to know a little bit about and what I think about this Mark 1 Spitfire stick around and stay tuned so I've had it what just over a week What are my thoughts on it? Well, the, I've seen them from when they first came out. I loved them. And I've been looking for the last 12 months, I think, for one. The one came up the other weekend, or the other week, at the right price. And I thought, hey, why not? So, I went and bought it. Um, I've been out on it a couple of times. I'm trying to get hold of uh, CCM at the moment to try and get the suspension set up because it's set up I think for a, possibly a 40 stone guy um, and it's rattling the teeth out of me on the, especially on the front end um, I've asked a couple of times on, a, on a, a, a forum but somebody not a lot of people um, are forthcoming with a bit of information on how to set this uh, thing up but people talk about the, the vibration through the seat it's minimal everybody everybody stops and stares at it I think I went out on the first day the first time I just went it into Alberson for five minutes um, I had a guy at the traffic lights giving me a thumbs up against it um, then I also had the last in the in the garage saying that's a nice set of wheels so yeah didn't really buy it for that I bought it for something you know just something for the for the weekend just to nip out on just have a run about on nip up to the lakes for an hour coffee stop and back home really um, I'm not going to do millions, millions of miles on it I haven't bought it to um, for collectors and make money I bought it because I love it I love the look I love the look of it so yeah so I've just come out of Ulverson just at the moment um, along the course road as they call it um, I'll put a subtitle somewhere down there of which road it is I can't remember it's a 574 or something I don't know be down there anyway used to be a great road this but they seem to have um, reduced the whole length of it to um, 50 mile an hour but I believe they did that for a reason there's been some accidents down here um, used to be a bit of a Speedway. That is across there, Morecambe Bay. No, this is. Um, This suspension really needs sorting out. The fisherman's arms. So 
yeah, it goes. It goes round corners. It's not fine to go round corners like some things. It's a bit windy today. It's extremely windy today. As you can probably hear, whistling through my helmet. <laughs> I think it's 40 mile an hour winds. So it feels like you're doing about 100 on this. But not. Sounds well. It's comfy. A little bit of um a little bit of pain in me in my hands it seems to be um I don't know, I don't know what it is really. Just like, especially on my throttle, it's a different position to my GS. I know you get that, but um, I thought it might have been a bit more uh, comfier than what it sort of is at this precise moment. Nice gentleman. Oh, I think these fun forks are um, really need setting up. I'm hoping the image stabilizing is um, doing quite a good job of it really. Instead of absorbing the bumps, it's sort of shoving them into my arms. So it's not really a comfortable ride at this precise moment. And I have rang CCM twice, and I've also emailed them, and I've had no reply. But I do hear that their um, after sales and um, isn't brilliant, but we'll live in hope. If anybody can tell me different, comment down below. We've done a couple of adjustments to it already. The brake lever was a little bit high, so I've lowered that. I need to change the gear selector. Um, that's a bit high. But I, tried to I, I tried to change it last night. But um, the sprocket or the chain needs to come off, which is a bit of a bummer. But yeah, that's how windy it is at the moment, as you can see around here. There's a fair wind behind that tide. And riding into it, it's, um, it feels like as though you're doing faster than what really you are. Well, you should be, really. Fishing going on. So uh, yeah, not really the best day to be um, riding motorcycles with 46 mile an hour wind. <laughs> hey, I missed the wind protection. if we can find a um, bit of a sheltered place. The 
show you around this gorgeous motorcycle. What's going to go at Ryle and down there, as you can see just in the distance, but um, I think it'll be a bit windy down there as well. Blowing from, I think it's south. Yeah, that's a problem. Go on, have a run down the ramp side. So it's Sunday the 5th of July. This was a causeway. It used to have rail. Rail? It used to have trains running down here before cars. Because I think when they built this, cars wasn't invented. That's our Barrow Lifeboat Station. And just out there in the is Peel Island. And it's own castle. ice creams which is nice so as you can see in the distance there is the port of Barrow in <laughs> Barrow in Furness so they call it it's Bar <laughs> Barrow in Furness um, that's where they build the nuclear submarines the big um, buildings and then towards the other side of it you can see Blackcomb over by Millam and nearly across there is um, Lancaster, Trafford, Bolden on the other side of the Morecambe Bay.
can't really see much today. It's a wonder with all these with all this wind. We we'll have to find somewhere a bit. Um, I don't remember what that used to be. I think it was a lighthouse. I'll find out for you and I'll put it down there in the subtitle. changing. Well yeah she sounds lovely. She rides not brilliant at the moment because of the suspension. Too goddamn hard. So yeah if anybody can help me with the um, setting up of the suspension or no man who can comment down below contact me email me get me on Facebook message me please Thank you. Uh, a bit of wind behind them. They are not. Yeah, so that over there is uh, basically Morecambe Bay. You can see Blackpool from here on a nice day. No, you won't be able to see. Hesham's about 90 degrees just across there. The ferry goes across to the Isle of Man and behind Heesham and Lancaster is um, the Chopper Ballham. Pop into Aldingham. Should be a bit quiet down there. moan about the um, the quick the stand you can't do it when you sat on the bike so you have to get off and do that with it which is a bit of a pain well you get used to that sort of thing don't you so then boys and girls I hope you're still with me <laughs> I can't see with them little small mirrors there she is what I should do and get in the habit of doing which they say you should do, is it doesn't have a key. So it has a bit of a fob. And when you put it on the kill switch, as you can see, the light's still on. The ignition's still on. And everything's still on. So what you should do, you should kill it with that. That's what they say they should do with it. So I'm going to do a missed and fly thingy, you know. Let's go to the other camera. So yeah, 600cc Husqvarna engine. I don't know the specifications of them. Um, if you want to know that, you can um, read up about it. But yeah, this is a bonny looking bike. Like I say, the couple of qualms on it is um, suspension's a bit hard. Um, so if anybody knows anything about that, anybody knows, like I say, TCM at 
forthcoming at this precise moment in time, but they soon will be. I'll just keep dogging them. I'll send them emails and emails and emails. But no. Lovely machine. See where exactly is that? It's hard to find. I was starting it the other day. I tried to um to switch it on and it wouldn't. I was getting a bit uh well not panicky but seem to want to play a ball. The open one I think is better than the um, than the throttle. change it but because it's it's that far up I think I've done it but I haven't if you put your foot your heel on the um, on the foot peg you seem to get it but I don't want that so I'm gonna to have to take the chain off or the front sprocket off to move that but we'll get that sorted you can't have till it's Sunday can't you Lovely gearbox when you can get your foot onto the um, gear changer, no problem at all. But when it's not there, you're a bit of a pig. So YouTubers, thanks so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give me a thin thumbs up. Um, if you haven't, if you have... If it's the first time here and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Now we've got a couple of different bikes. We've um, been looking at uh, doing different things with um, different audiences. Look at broaden horizon just slightly. Um, any comments, anything like to listen, ask, anything like to know, anything at all, please comment down below. Keep safe out there, everybody. And as they say, we'll see you soon. How many of you bikers go through town and look at yourselves in the mirrors, in the mirrors, in, uh, in the shop windows to see how cool you look? Eh, hey, go on, honest. Of course you do. There's a good one down here, I should know it's my hometown. 